Nothing like little cookies here, my friends, today in the form of Simic. I'm very excited about this one, a list I've played against a ton. I really like this particular one, and we're going to break everything down for you in today's episode. Thank you for tuning in. As always, down below, you'll find the timestamps as we walk through this particular list. Additionally, we'll go play that competitive magic as we do in standard best of one and best of three here today, and then pull it all back together for our retrospective outtake and how we did. Now, with that, let's Let's go ahead and get into it here and if you got a question or comment along the way do let me know and feel free to holler at us in the discord server as well and join the community there all right so a couple things about this particular list this one is by ct don also additional shout out to ash lizzle here um, for the takedown of the meta game standard challenge um, going a lovely lovely seven and oh so a couple things here as everyone likes to know i do enjoy playing your list so feel free to at me chat me all that fun stuff because that's what i like to do all right so getting back to our list here simic cookies when it comes to standard like i said um, I've actually played against this several times. I'm excited to be playing it here for you today, and I do like this list in particular. Um, a couple things about it. Uh, in the best of three format, obviously, and also best of one, um, we aren't running a four of, of everything. I do like opportunities for us to kind of mix things up. So not going a full four of the Kite Sail, four full of the Tishanas, um, or Agatha's Soul Cauldron here, or Surge Engine. I really, really appreciate that gives us an opportunity to move things in and out um, as always when it comes to uh, best of three. And then additionally, in best of one, it gives you a little bit more range um, when it comes to these particular uh, lists. Now, a lot of this stuff, if you're not familiar about it, is really around Simic artifacts. Um, the idea here is essentially to build off of your one drops. You, you want to curve out. Subterranean Schooner is so, so powerful here, my friends. Um, we have Tough Cookie, which uh, target non-artifact, uh, non-creature artifact you control can become a 4-4 artifact creature until end of turn. Again, your foods, all those things get that much better. We're leveraging Zodic Glyph. So if you caught the mono blue uh, artifact list and obviously a budget list, this card is crazy. It is so, so good and gives you so much value. Um, which is one of the reasons it is in this particular list. Um, and then additionally, you got Surge Engine here that really adds over time, again, making it unblockable. Um, lots of power over time, like I said, and then Sentinel of the Nameless City, um, constantly popping off more of those map tokens, giving you card advantage. And then the good old Agatha here, when you, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to activate abilities of creatures you control, and then creatures you control have plus one, or Creatures you control with a plus one, plus one counter on them have all activated abilities of all creature cards exiled with Ag Agatha Soul Cauldron. Now you can exile creature cards from your graveyard. When a creature card is exiled this way, put a plus one, plus one on creature you control as well. So lots of power over time, early game, low curve at three. What more could you want when it comes to Simic Cookies? Um, now, those are all key pieces. And the reality of this list is it does move quick. Um, it's really aggro to mid-range. A lot of that power is going to come in here. But again, like I said, the early game stuff really stacks up pretty quickly. Um, and you want to take advantage of it. You want to shut your opponent down as fast as possible. Because what you will notice here is this. We don't have any, any, any uh, spells that are not creatures for the most part. Except for Zodic Glyph here and Agatha's Soul Cauldron. So keep those things in mind. And that gives us a good segue into best of three, because when we do open up the best of three, that is what you're primarily going to board. And that's going to be against aggro mid range and late game. When you get to the aggro stuff, this deck's going to be fairly solid against it because we do get some life gain. We do get some bigger creatures, those kinds of things. But just in case something you might want to throw in there is Haywire Might, just for that additional gain too. Uh, when this thing dies can make a huge difference. And then obviously, if you want to get rid of something off the board, either an enchantment um, or an artifact uh, as well. That could be very powerful there. Tamiyo Safekeeping is also nice. I'm giving you Indestructible, gaining two life. I also like Kite Sail and potentially Tishana's. Um, again, making this ability to slow down your opponents um, and give you some of that life gain. Atroxa's Fall might work for you against Enchantment List. Um, or if they're running creatures with flying, not a bad one there as well. As we start to move into the mid-range, again, similar ideas and concepts, except the one thing you might want to start thinking about is Spell Pierce, Disruption Protocol, or Negate. 
just to kind of slow down your opponents depending on what they're playing if they're not playing um, creature based stuff they start to play other things that strip your hand or counter magic those are what you're going to want in there um, similar again atroxus fall and then as you get to the late game it's definitely going to be more things like spell pierce potentially tamio safekeeping to keep your stuff alive disruption protocol and the gate potentially atroxus fall Ideally, what you're going to do is you're probably going to move things here for Kite Sail, move those off if they're not running a lot of creatures. That's an easy swap to kind of move things in and protect your board, protect your base. Um, maybe you might think about pulling out an Agathas, um, those kinds of things as well. So that is really the strategy objective of this list. Aggro to mid-range, um, again, giving you some ideas against aggro mid-range in late game in terms of your boarding there. Really creature-based, moving again to more spell, counter magic, um, a little bit of control in there and protection for your team in order to successfully close out the match and take home the wins. All right, let's get into it here today with our Simic Cookies list. Very excited about this um, because I've played against it a ton, been looking for a great list, and this one is a good one. All right, we're off to the new season here for February. Looking forward to the next set coming out. And as always, we do have swag and merch available if you're interested, and thank you for that support. All right, show hider. Um, we can keep this. Okay with it. Now this will come in tapped. All of our stuff comes in tapped. It's gonna be a little slow. We can't play either of these out of the gate. That's okay. We'll get our. We'll do this. Get our two drop in, this one first. Okay, this guy's gonna come in, give us our token, which is gonna pump Teething Wormlet. A little bit of life gain makes a huge difference against things like uh, mono, mono Red, my friends. Now, they do have this. This would be very powerful for us to drop out of the gate here. I don't wanna do that. I'm actually expecting some control. Um, so before we do that, let's go ahead and see if they do anything. So nothing there, potentially a counter uh, could be in place. We could try it. Real aggressive, I expect the tempo list to get us here. There you have it. Now again, trying to play around just ever so slightly, my friends. Let's do this first. That's good for us here. Now, again, we can pay the one. This creature can't be blocked. And then another one for three. It's going to be five, four, and lose defender. Let's put this up here first. Now, again, we're, we're kind of protecting that. All right. And we'll hold off there. There's the draw, we can do this. Now, a couple challenges that we do kind of run into here. Ah, here we go. They're going to need a counter so we can take it down with Kite Sail. Ooh, we can't get one of ours. Ah, that's right. Oh, or one. Actually, here we go. We can go here. Yeah, I can take that back. I always forget that. We could have skipped that. But I want to actually do this, which is one of the reasons why I did that. There we go. Not bad. One more chance here. Now again, this one hits both for each player. Choose up to one target artifact or creature as long as in the battlefield. Again, permanence there. So unblockable for right now. Um, we can choose what we want to do here. We do have this as well. We can get this one on. We can do this again if we need to. There we go. 
Now we're still in it. They have to be able to push Surge back. Can't block it. We're good. There it is, my friends, against Mono Blue Tempo, taking it down. There we go. Actually worked out for us to do that, which is always nice. <laughs> to pump and make it happen, because we were actually short one. And making that guy into that treasure token certainly helped. All right, now let's go ahead. We're going to go into our best of three for standard here. The Simic Cookies, my friends. Nice play, nice flow. Can't complain. That's a little bit more magical when it's magic like that. <laughs> All right, waiting for our opponent. Let's see what we hit here for best of three. We got all the card. There we are. All right, we can keep this. There we go. Start here. Ideally, 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 we get some lands. If we can get to three here, we'll be sitting pretty good. Which is what we need. Now, again, good news is we'll get this on the board. Give us one, one nice little land. Here we are. Now, we can play a lot of stuff here. I suspect them to take that off. Which is why do this for now, that's okay. Because I do want to drop this one right here. Right, let's go to attack. There we go. And then we still have the one. Let's go ahead and do it here. Now, so far, that was a nice, fast match. What we are going to want to move in here, we can keep the Kite Seal isn't terrible. We can keep the Tishanas. What I'm probably going to want to run with, actually, is a little bit of counter magic here. Um, I do like the Protocols as additional cast, tap it on tapped artifact. We're going to go with this instead of Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce is nice out of the gate. Um, we could go with... And drop a cauldron. Uh, let's go with one other one here. We'll keep one cauldron. Ah, let's drop the cauldron. Let's go a little bit more counter magic. I'm okay with that. We'll drop one of those and one of those and grab those two. Okay. Tishiana's is good to kind of shut down. Oops, at least 60. All right. Uh, let's grab one cauldron back in. There we go. Tishiana's is good to shut down any of those triggers, uh, particularly Shieldred, which is why I kept it in there. Or Itali or something like that. This is a little bit of a rough start. Let's mulligan there. Mulligan again. Oh! This is going to be rough, my friends. Turn three. Ooh. Let's drop this one for now. That's real rough. We had only one land. We could have thought about it, I guess, but that was just not, not the way to go at all. Here we go. So when this enters, create a food token. I'm going to do this first. 
Now it doesn't have haste though either. Now we can get two of them in, which is real nice. Now unfortunately it did that the wrong way for us on the mana tap. So again, one thing to be careful of when it comes to um when it comes to tapping for mana. There we go, at least we get that off, which is what I wanted. out. Let's get this one on. Grab that one. Let's keep that. And we'll grab another one. There we go. Let's see how we can do here. Maybe she alters next. Could be a breach list too. Ooh, there you go. All artifacts. Not bad. That is a huge problem card for us. Now again, that is why the counter magic is gonna be so important for us. Because if we would have had that, we could have actually got rid of it. Ooh, there you go. One more and they got that in too, my friends. That one. Swing in for five. Oop. Never mind. Swing in for one. A little early. Should have used the map token, actually. That would have been just fine. There's the Tali. Uh. And again, that's where Tishiana is going to help you shut this thing down. So that ability is not going to trigger. We'll go to the next one because we are not coming back from that. All right. Third and final. So again, unfortunate there when it comes to a couple things. Um, I'm actually going to grab Tishiana's. We're going to drop the, another tough cookie. Uh, and let's go with this. There we go. Um, that mana base issue was not great. Not great. We could have took a risk instead of going to three. Just played with the one. We were on the draw. Play first. This is not much better. Um, frankly, it's too much. This is a little bit better. We'll keep this. Um, we do want to get these out of the gate here. Not having two blue hurts, though. Keep six. Drop the cauldron. Now, let me get this on the board right away. Now we can go here. Oh, but we don't have the blue. We, yeah, not great. Could have did this first, I guess. Keep that. Maybe 
this. Uh, again, it's going to depend on what we want to do here. Play this one. Now we could have did this to get Zodic Glyph in there. That also protects against any quick kind of kills. However, this again stacks a little bit differently in terms of the play. We're really missing that second blue. There we go. I'm okay with that play. Because again, this is where this gets backed up a little bit. Ooh, and even better. This is good for us here. Now, the other thing that's great about this is that because of the fact we don't have... We can do this. We can do this. Let's just let it go. Do it here. All right. Let's drop it for now. Don't want to do that, actually. We'll wait. The map could have been better to use here on the siren. Let's see. Good news, ooh, double up here, big time. There we go. Now, the problem here is, if they do get a wipe, keep that there. Probably should have dumped it, because we already have one in hand anyway. I want to show them the threat. Again, the issue is, though, we don't have two blues. Is it enough, is the question. We do have enough to keep dropping Murex, so we're good! It's, oh, whew. Tricky, tricky situations there today. But we made it work. We made it work. I really, really like this list. Um, a lot of fun. As you can see, it's quick. There's a lot you can do with it. And again, take care of your cookies, my friends. All right. So with that, that is our Simic cookie list. Once again, this was a standard metagame challenge list going 7-0 by our friend CT Don. Original deck list by Ash Lizzle. Nice work. I have seen different variations, so we're giving the credit for the one that we ran, um, as we always do. Now, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, as always, we did have a nice run, as we like to say. It is magic. Um, win or lose, rain or shine, those kinds of things. Um, additionally, would love to see your lists. If you're a competitive player, all those fun things, your brews, those kinds of things too, feel free to at me. I um, love writing them here on the channel because that is what we do. And as always, like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And thank you. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here. On top of that, would love to see you in the Discord server. And thank you to all of our members. Uh, memberships are available to you. It's a nice way to support the channel. I appreciate it. we got emotes, icons, those kinds of things, and first response. As always, when it comes to that... Um, and uh, extra ways to add chat and those fun things. Lastly, I do have affiliate links. If you're looking for new cards for Karlov, all that fun stuff, those are there. Thank you for that. And socials are available to stay connected. With that, keep on running with your Simic cookies list here and our good old Ginger Brute uh, here because that thing was the game winner for us here today. With that, enjoy the list. we got a ton of great magic here. Um, while you're waiting and more coming all the time. Until next time, may your Simic cookies be good to you. Take care.